Hey guys, it's the Adirondack Stacker here. Tonight we're going to talk about Newmont stock, ticker NEM. I think it's one of the biggest opportunities in the entire stock market right now, but certainly in the gold sector, the gold mining sector. Um, I've watched this stock for many years now, maybe four years, and I've always kept an eye on it because it's the biggest gold miner in the world, and it's an S&P 500 company. American company. So I've always, you know, I've never pulled the trigger before now because the price has always seemed a little bit steep, but that can't be said now. I, the, the price is basically cut in half from what it used to be. And um, the last time this price, the last time it was this price, it was 2019 in May and gold was $1,200 an ounce. So now we have gold over 2000 ounce $2,000 an ounce for a few quarters now. Um, I think the company is massively undervalued. So first I'll talk about why I buy gold stocks in general. Um, gold stocks, they say they're three times leveraged to gold, to the gold price. So gold moves higher, this stock's going to move three times higher. Gold moves lower the stock might move three times lower. Now, that's always, it's not always three times. Sometimes it's two times, sometimes three times, sometimes it's even more. Um, another reason why is because I think gold stocks have, there's a lot of huge opportunities within the gold mining sector right now because it's such an unfavored, undervalued, misunderstood segment of the market. A lot of people still think of gold miners as unprofitable companies, you know, technology has advanced a lot. Back in the day, it cost a lot more money to pull gold out of the ground. Technology's caught up and it's made things a lot cheaper. And a lot of people in the general market don't really realize that. Another thing is the price of gold's gone up a lot. So a lot of these companies are making tons of money right now. And one of these companies is Newmont. Um, and the reason why I'm so attracted to Newmont right now is because they just bought out the sixth biggest miner in the world, Newcrest, which was an Australian company. That's why I have some Australian silver on the table here, some Australian kangaroos. Their CEO, the CEO of uh, Newmont is Tom Palmer. So it kind of makes sense that they bought a huge Australian company. It was the biggest mining deal in history at around $15 billion. But this puts Newmont's gold reserves at around 160 million ounces, which is a staggering number. I think Fort Knox claims to have 147 million ounces uh, there. So the American government you know, claims to have 147 million ounces. Newmont has more than that in reserves. They're going to be mining now with the Newcrest acquisition. They're going to be mining around eight and a half million ounces a year, along with 300,000 tons of copper, which again, 300,000 tons of copper is kind of a number that's hard to even fathom. Um, these guys also offer a 4.8% dividend right now, close to 5% dividend which is great. That's another reason why I buy gold stocks is because you get these dividends. And when I, I get them four times a year and I can use those to buy more physical silver and gold if I want, it's almost like getting free gold and silver because they're just sending me this money just for owning this, this company. And I can do whatever the heck I want with it. I can also reinvest in the company for essentially for free and use compound interest, that snowball effect um, to make my position even bigger. So now with this Newcrest acquisition, this takeout of Newcrest, it's pretty much Newmont and everyone else as far as far as miners go. Newmont is by far the biggest miner in the world, gold miner in the world. Um, I think they're right now the shares selling for about thirty three dollars. When I first started following it, following it, it was in the sixty to seventy dollar range. Um, it usually is in that sixty dollar range. And uh, after this, after they took out Newcrest, a lot of shareholders didn't want to wait around 
and uh, bailed on the company, which is pretty common. That, that happens pretty much if, uh, if you're into stocks. When a company takes out another company, a lot of shareholders will bail in the short term just because they don't want to wait around um, to see profits. So, yeah, I, I see a big, bright future for this stock and this company. Um, don't take my word for it, though. Check it out on your check it out for yourself. You know, don't don't bet the farm on this company just because I said it's a great company. But right now it's the it's out of all the gold stocks I buy, which are B2 Gold, Ken Ross Gold and now Newmont. Newmont, I'm most bullish on. I'm buying them all, but I, I'm buying the most Newmont while I can at these depreciated prices because I really don't think they're going to last forever. Um, they're probably going to go head back up to that 60, 50, 60, 70, 80 dollar range before before you know it. So um, thanks for listening and uh, have a great night, guys.